Hi, let's talk about Queen Anne's Lace. First of all, we call her Queen, Queen Anne, and I'm going to tell you some identifying characteristics of this queen. It's also known as Wild Carrot. So you can see the stem is hairy, right? You can see all those fuzzy hairs all over it. So the queen has hairy legs. Okay, <laughs> that's a, an identifier of this plant. She also has a petticoat under her lace. This is called the petticoat. And these are good identifiers because you don't want to you don't want to confuse it with poison hemlock, which if you go by these certain very specific characteristics, you will not confuse it with hemlock because hemlock does not have hairy legs. Only the queen does. Hemlock does not have a petticoat. Only the queen. And hemlock does not have a blood-stained dot in the middle of the lace. Only the queen. So that spot right there, not every single flower has that maroon colored center, but most of them do, lots of them do. Like see, this one don't, but most of them do. And you will find it on the ones, you know, on, a, on some of them in a big grouping like this. So wild carrot, also known as Queen Anne's Lace. It has hairy legs. She has a petticoat under her lace, and she has a blood-stained lace because she pricked her finger while she was making her lace. You know, those are all identifiers. So compared to the poison hemlock, which has smooth stem, and it also has purple splotches, and it's like juicy, it's not so woody like that. And also, so since I'm talking about it, let me just tell you, it's great for gout or reducing uric acid. Also, anything to do with the urinary tract system from kidney stones to um, bladder health to your urinary tract system, all of it. It's really good for breaking up stones and your liver it's good if you've got a lily liver so yeah wild carrot also known as queen anne's lace and really the queen anne's lace part is mostly for identification purposes compared to some plants that could be um confused not generally but i mean you know if you're new at it yeah you really want to know that poison hemlock does not have hairy legs and poison hemlock does not have a petticoat and poison hemlock does not have a blood-stained center flower okay so those things you would feel comfortable in identifying wild carrot and I guarantee you everybody has seen this growing on the side of the road peace